who was killed in a coach crash has come true with the delivery of a high-tech lifeboat to Redcar. Jacqueline Hansley died eight years ago in South Africa. Well, in her will, she left money for the RNLI. This morning, lifeboatmen took their new craft, named after her, for a trial run. Andy Clues was there. She will never see it in action, but Jacqueline Hunsley's memory will live on in this inshore lifeboat. Jacqueline from Leeds died in a coach crash nearly eight years ago while on holiday in South Africa. She was a very strong, lifelong supporter of the RNLI and she really wanted the money to be spent on the North Yorkshire coast and Redcar being in the old North Yorkshire at least um, and we were due to receive a new life but it all came together just nicely for us at, at Redcar. We feel very delighted to receive the money and also, quite honestly, we feel a little bit humbled by the fact that somebody who lives in Leeds a long way from Redcar has, has been so thoughtful as to leave money in the first place to the RNLI and particularly to leave money that would be spent on this station here in Redcar. It's not been revealed exactly how much Jacqueline left, but it's paid for training and a computer upgrade, as well as £29,000 for the boat. The, the boat that we have now is designed for 21st century rescues. The, the use of the sea has changed dramatically in the last 40 years since the first inshore lifeboats were developed. Now there's a lot more leisure use of the sea, and certainly in the school summer holidays, we expect to be busy with children on lilos, people trapped under the cliffs at Saltburn, and that's exactly the sort of rescue that this boat is designed to do. Fantastic boat. It's a far superior boat to the last one. It's got a lot of power. It's a really special. Uh, it's an excellent piece of kit. In the days and years to come, everyone whose lives are saved by this boat will have the best of reasons to thank the woman whose last wish was to make our coast safer. Andy Clues, ITV Tyne Tees, Redcar. Andy Clues with Jackie Hunsley's legacy for the RNLI.